Now, before you get to Market Street, there's these uh, train tracks that are part of the F Street car. Not the, I mentioned earlier about the light rail, but we also have what's called the F Street car. It runs with a cable uh, on top um, of the car, and it runs along the Embarcadero going all the way up to Fisherman's Wharf. So it starts off at Market Street, and then it connects to the Embarcadero and goes all the way up the Embarcadero to Fisherman's Wharf. So if you're a tourist staying in one of the hotels that are along Market Street, this would be a great option for you to you utilize in terms of getting to Fisherman's Wharf. Now upon crossing the F Street car tracks, just before you get to Market Street, this area is also used for street vendors who sell like jewelry and other related items that you might find of interest. They're not here right now, but, but this area is used to, for, the, for street vendors to showcase their unique products. Now just before we get to Market Street from the Embarcadero, this plaza is also used for ice skating rink during the winter season as well. They just sear it off and they use it for ice skating and it's uh, adjacent to the Embarcadero Centers. There's about four of them, I think five, that showcase a lot of uh, high-end shops. They also have a parking garage on site. We'll, we'll shoot that at, later, at, later, at another film shoot session. So here's Market Street, which is again adjacent to uh, Embarcadero. You see many bus, bus lines run on Market Street, as well as the F Street car. So as you can see, the number, going back to number block, I mentioned you earlier about how the streets are aligned. Uh, the number block begins at 000, and it's gonna go up to 100. When you get to Stewart Street, and then from Stewart, it's going to go 101 up to 200, 201 up to 300, et cetera, et cetera, all the way through several neighborhoods. And I think Market Street usually ends around Castro, the Castro District, whatever. But, but again, another example of how the streets are aligned and how you're able to find them. How you define your specific points of interest by knowing how the streets are aligned. One of the things that helps you get across the streets, uh, get across the Embarcadero safely are the street lights, which you'll see a person in white, uh, white symbol. That means it's for you to safely cross the street and then they give you a time limit for how much time you have to cross the street before it turns red and indicates that you can no longer walk across the street safely as other passing cars are going by. So now it's safe to walk the street walk across the Embarcadero train tracks to get to the Embarcadero. So now you see the estimated time it takes for you to cross the train tracks and cross the Embarcadero street before it becomes unsafe and allow cars to pass by. So we got three, two, one seconds, and then zero. Now it means not that you can no longer walk across the street as cars are gonna be driving along the Embarcadero. Okay, we're going to be continuing along the Embarcadero going northbound towards Fisherman's Wharf. And here's yet another entrance to the ferry building. And where we are previously, as you enter the ferry building, you exit on the other side of the ferry building, and that's where, again, you're going to find the ferry terminals and more spectacular views of the bay. Now, Gott's Restaurant offers burgers, fish tacos and beer and then have outdoor dining which is right along the Embarcadero and of course they're right inside the the main entrance is also inside the ferry building but they also have outdoor dining as well now once you reach Market Street where the embark the, the ferry building is the numbers of the piers will change from even to odd beginning here at the port of San Francisco, which is Pier 1. So they would, be, they would continue on the Embarcadero from 1 to 3 to 5, all the way up to 35 where the cruise terminal is, which is near Fisherman's Wharf. Pier 1. And the one final thing I forgot to mention about the Embarcadero is that if you decide to drive throughout the city, let's say if you're coming from Oracle Park on King Street where we began, uh, coming northbound, 
Uh, this is probably one of the fastest ways you can get from north to south of the city is by driving along the Embarcadero. And you can also find streets that will connect you from the Embarcadero uh, as you head towards Fisherman's Wharf. And then you could actually continue on to the Golden Gate Bridge, but you have to connect to Lombard Street to do that. But uh, that's on our second thumb shoot. Okay, this concludes our adventure along the Embarcadero of part one where we featured the scenic views of the bay, Oracle Park where the San Francisco Giants play, uh, many of your dining options, the, the cycling options, and many other uh, attractions along the Embarcadero Road. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like what you saw. Hit the like button. Again, tell your family and friends. Uh, and also don't forget to, to log into my website, my blog, where I talk about my personal experiences in visiting the top attractions in the Bay Area. Also give you more insight, maybe maps, showing you the route structure from which I I visited the areas in which I shot film, physically showing you the areas. Uh, also, I'll share my travel experiences within the blog. And don't forget to subscribe to the newsletter where you get more discounts on promotions, uh, specials with, for wine tasting, for restaurants, shops, lodging, and everything else. So, uh, most importantly of all, don't forget to tune in to part two. We're going to continue our journey on the Embarcadero from Pier 1 going northbound up to Fisherman's Wharf. That's all for now and I'll see you in the next video.